Uh, let's talk about chapter 8, the brain research 3. So this topic is very important in computer science. So please focus on this. It's not hard to understand the concept, but it's not easy to implement. So what's three? So we gotta look at what's three and look at the logical level, application level, and implementation level. So this is the ADT that we talked about. There are three levels. Now we gonna to have to create an interface for that, right? For application level, right? And we can implement this with uh, use recursive to, have, to simplify the implementation complexity. The implementation level remaining all the operations, comparing binary search tree and linear list. We talk about linear list, which you search from the beginning to the end, but we want to do look at efficiency when you do binary search tree. Like we know linear list is gonna be O N. But when we put to BST it's gonna be long N. And we're gonna see how. And we want to learn how to balancing a BST. Because when we're not balancing it, it's gonna be screwed on one side, which can make just like linear list and we see why. A non linked representation of binary trees. And we can look at case study. Words frequency generator. So, first, what's tree? So, this is a tree, right? A non linear structure. Like we have a branch. The tree can have more than one branch. Like this has many branches. And this has just two. When you have two branches, we start to talk about binary. Right. Now we have the successors nodes. Successors, this is the root nodes. So successors are the children. Right. So we use three when we want to represent the hierarchy. Right. Hierarch hierarchical relationships among the data items. Like for example, you may see an org chart. Like organization chart, we have the president, we have the deans, right? we have assistant, associate dean, and then we have faculty, staff, and like that. So we talk about that tree has the starting node, which is Call root and has the children. Those are child nodes. So we can call this as a parent node, right? Like A is a parent of B and B is a parent of C and D. But this structure is not a tree once you have this line. This becoming a graph that we will learn next. So binary tree is a tree with one or two children, which has a left child and right child. And the leaf is the last node in the tree that has no children. Like for example, this is a binary tree, right? You have one or more, like C has one, right? Or two, right? Not more than two, right? So always two like that. And G, H, I, J has no children. So these are leaf nodes, root nodes, leaf nodes. So these are children. And this tree has 
four levels, starting from level zero to three. And you see that we use a pointer to point to the root of the tree, just like in the list. So a binary search tree. So the concept is all the values in the left subtree are less than or equals to the value in the root node. You may see that C is less than E, right? And A has to less be less than C, right? Because this is a left, we talk about left. But on the right, it has to be greater than C or equals. Okay? So that's why if you look at the big left here, E pretty much equals to root. Okay? Like B has to be greater than A on the right. And the whole left sub tree here can be less than the whole right sub tree. So H is greater than E, right? And F, I, G, J, those are greater than E. And on the left of the right subtree here, F has to be less than H, right? And I is greater than H, J is greater than H, I and also greater than H and E, right? G is greater than F. So this is a binary search tree, right? So left it's going to be less than or equals to parent right and right the values are going to be greater than the value of the parent nodes <coughs> so a binary search tree is a binary tree in which the key value in any node is greater than or equals to the key value in its left child and in any of its descendants, and less than the key value in its right child and any of its descendants. How much you understand that concept? Right? Now, we have to do travels through the list. In the case of the tree, we have three types of travels. One is pre order, in order, and post order. So pre is you visit the root, left and right. In order, left. If you look at in order, it's simple. Like you make the list in order. Because if you start with the left, left is always the smallest. Because left is less than the root. Then you go to the root and then you right. Once you do in order travel, so you can just make an order list. Okay, pre them you start from root left right, and if you do post order, it's gonna be left and right and root. is before, post is after, so that's why left, right, and root. Pre you start from root, left, and right. Okay? So that's how you pretty much just remember that. Now, let's look at an example. <coughs> Pre order. Like we said, root. So we're going to print out the root first, which is D, and then go to the left, which is B. And we have to finish the left first. Go to print A. And then we start to go to the right of the left, which is C, because we have to finish the left first. And then we print F and G. So that's P or right? Root, left, left, right, right, right. Root, left, right. In order, in order should be very easy. Left, root, right. We should make it in the list in order A, B, C, D, F, G. Right, left, root, right. Root, right, right. 
post order. We said start from left first, so we all the way to the left. At the bottom left, A, and then we go to the right, C, and then root, B. Right, that's the post order. And then we go to the right, G, F, D. So this is another example that we look at. All right. In order B F G B F G H P R S T W Y Z. So in order, it should be easy. It has to be in order, like. You can't see anything on the left or on the right. <coughs> and pre order is loose left, right. So P, F, B, H, G, right, root left. And right is S, R, Y, T, W, Z. And post order is left. Right root, so most left is B, G, and H right, F, and left R, left, right first, W, and then T root, and right Z, Y, S, P. Now, once we understand that means T left is less than or equals to the root and right is greater than the root that means if we want to create this structure to right to store our data in this T structure we have to start to design the logical So the binary search tree specification is very similar to our sorted list specification. BST elements be objects of a class that implements the comparable interface. Right, because we have to compare when we insert into our BST list compared to a root to see it should this new element should go to the left or the right or between and we say we not allow duplicates like we said the BST cell you could have duplicate because we said left could be less than or equals to the root but what we want to do when we implement it we not allow duplicates okay. so this is logical then Obvious T are about it. No elements are not about it. All three binary three clauses are supported. Like in order, P order, post order. We can look at the BST code for the interfaces. So this is logical level. Alright, so first the interface that we implement, we said this is a T type, generates right implementation, and of course T itself must has compatible. Otherwise, we don't have compared to an object. So that's why we do a T extends compatible. And comparable is also generates. Then to make sure that all the elements that use BST has to implement compare to. Right, because comparable has compared to methods. Now since we have three types of trial results, so we say so we're going to create a constant to pass that 